Facebook and stuff, you go online and you know the pictures are up for like a week or two weeks and then they're off and you kind of forget about it. But for a yearbook, it's something that you can always have. You know, you can look back at it just for yourself or you can show your kids when you're older. And it's just something that's like in concrete that you can hold and you can, you know, look back on and have the memories. It kind of reminds you of things that happened that you might not remember just because you saw it once. I think that having a yearbook is important because we spend so much of our lives at high school. We spend four years at the high school. And I just think someone needs to be there to document it. Like on Facebook, it's more of the student's point of view, so it may be distorted, but we tell it like it really is. So then in 10 years or 20 years, they can look back and think, wow, I really enjoyed that well, moment of high school. On the student sites, it's kind of distorted. But yeah. you're a student too, so what's yes. different about what you all do as, journal as journalists with the yearbook? Um, we can bounce ideas off of each other, so like we have a more like group view than just one student's individual view. And uh, the issues pages, they were just filler pages in the yearbook because we had a lot of extra pages, so we did them. Um, That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> we did this at the beginning. Oh, uh, did we? We did. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so they were on like cheating and gossiping. Bombs. Bombs. Bomb. The, we had bomb threats, so <laughs> we had them on bombs. That makes it sound wonderful. And, um, yeah. Drugs and alcohol. Drugs and alcohol. <laughs> Embarrassment. Embarrassment. All issues that students faced over the course of their high school years. The newspaper, I think it's well, obviously because there's so many more issues, it's a lot more timely. In your book, you have to focus on the end. While well, newspaper, you know, your end is six weeks away. But they're both the same thing. They both want to tell people what's going on or what happened. Oh, no, no. Yeah, like between like these three spreads almost, it was, we had trouble contracting. Yeah. But our yearbook's more pictures and newspaper's more stories. So I'll work on news, newspaper and yearbook and they're like, oh, there's two new words on my page. I'll work on yearbook and newspaper and they're like, oh, there's page for my pictures. You don't have enough words. So it's kind of just remembering what I'm doing. Yearbooks tend to paint high school as everything is good and everything is lovely and peachy keen, like Ash, like a, like Kim Rowe just said. Um, but that's not the way it is. And today's students are more in, are, are interested in what's going on around them. Maybe maybe not politics, as Maddie found out, but they do talk about politics and. And our job as yearbook staff members is to cover the whole year, whatever kids do. And sometimes cheating or drugs and alcohol abuse or um, getting into college are things that kids are interested in. And we shouldn't just paint a rosy picture that everything is cool and everybody loves everybody else when it's not that way. Because it's journalism. It's not, it's not scrapbooking.